He had that scan done within a week or two of me originally reviewing his original radiographs. And I knew what was going to be on the scan before I saw it. Didn't surprise me. This was done at an upright weight-bearing phonar center in Seattle. Okay? T2 weighted sagittal. And he has a clear disc extrusion. This thing is about five or six millimeters, right? If you look on the axial scan, it's central and left, so left side, paracentral. And it doesn't surprise me this guy would have sciatica. So I read his films for him. I told him what was going on. I had no idea how he was going to be treated. I said, you know, you could consider epidurals. You could consider some additional treatment. You could consider disc surgery. I, I don't know quite what you're going to do. Realize I'm in Denver. He's in Vancouver, a long way away. I kind of lost contact with him, right? Kind of lost contact with him. Then about four months later, I saw him at a chiropractic meeting in Las Vegas. Standing straight, I went up to him and I said, how you doing? He says, I'm great. My back's fine. I said, really? What happened? How, what kind of treatment? What did you do? Did you have back surgery? He said, no, I didn't have back surgery. He says, I went to someone in Seattle that has a DRX 9000. Well, I didn't know anything about a DRX 9000. And I said, you had decompression? He says, yes. He says, and I don't have any symptoms. I said, well, how long did you go? He says, well, I had 17 treatments on the DRX 9000. I had those treatments by someone in Seattle. Do you find it interesting? He's driving three hours one way for a treatment and three hours back. And a couple of times he stayed overnight, right? So that wouldn't be as optimum a protocol, right? He's having to get back in a car get two or three treatments in a row and then drive back, which I think is even, even more phenomenal and speaks to the power of this kind of decompression with the DRX 9000. So he had these 17 treatments. And I said, well, that's just amazing. I, I'm glad you're doing better, right? Then I went up and I gave a lecture in Vancouver for this, at a conference where this gentleman was. And I saw him again. And I said, how are you? He says, I'm fine. My back is fine. And he asked me if I'd be willing to stay after my presentation that day and listen to a presentation on the DRX 9000. You'll hear from Dr. Frank Florio today. Uh, he was a gentleman who gave that presentation. I sat there, about 10 or 12 people there, and I asked a few questions. And, and I was very impressed with the presentation, very impressed with the power of the concept behind it. And it kind of sparked my interest. So then I called the patient back. And I said, would, you know, you see these kind of things. If you're a radiologist and you have to understand how we're trained, we do kind of think, Ren, black and white, right? I mean, I come from that environment, right? From a, the scientific community of that environment. So, you know, you're a little skeptical, you know, like what happened here, right? So I thought, geez, he's, he's been asymptomatic after two months worth of treatment, right? 17 visits. So from September to November, he was being treated from November. Now it's March, he's got no symptoms. I said, would you be happy to be rescanned? So I arranged six weeks later for him to be rescanned. This is how he was treated on the DRX 9000. And I want you to know that he got about 25% relief, about 25% relief after his first three treatments which he did kind of consecutively because he stayed over in a motel. This is done at the same center. And if you look, I'll give you comparisons in a minute. Done weight bearing on a phono upright center. And it is remarkable. T2 sagittal done on the same scanner from the same sagittal position, the same slice. It is gone. I took these images and I gave them to my associate, Dr. Michael Berry, who practices with me, another chiropractic radiologist. I presented one set of images to him one time with the disc herniation and another set of images blocked off the patient's name. And of course, he couldn't tell the difference. And then when I showed him, he couldn't believe it. He said, my God, this is the same patient? I said, yeah. This patient rem remains asymptomatic. And this is what sparked my interest. I have not seen these kind of changes from what we would consider more standardized therapy and certainly not from standard uh, traction, right? Uh, 
and this really generated an excitement in me that I want to know more about this, right? Look at the axial scan. It's remarkable. Now, you might say, well, Dr. Yoakum, will that happen with each and every patient? If you've got a scientific mind, you're going to ask me that question. I'm going to tell you to get that morphological change with each and every patient would be uh, to expect it with every patient. Probably not going to happen with every patient. As I suggested, I actually suggested he might have an epidural injection because I didn't know anything about decompression. I, mean, no, I had no, no knowledge of it, right? Seen ads, but I didn't know it or understand what was going on. He'd had a series of epidural injections. He wouldn't get any better, and he would have had back surgery. That would have been the next step. So look at this case. This case was treated in, uh, I believe, July. This is a 31-year-old male construction worker that hurt his back lifting lumber out of the back of his truck. It's remarkable. This case is even more remarkable. Patient presented with an unbearable lower back pain, and he had left-sided sciatica radiating to the foot. The pain was described as sharp shooting and burning, and he reported his left foot was numb and tingling. The patient's pain began 10 days prior with no relief from various prescription medications. I've had Dr. McCain certify me from his file. This, car, this patient could not even sit in his van or truck. His wife drove him. He was laying flat in the back of the pickup of the truck. He couldn't sit upright for any extended period of time. The guy was that acute, that acute. He was led by an advertisement. The patient rode approximately six hours lying in the back of his truck while his wife drove him to the treating facilities. Six hours one way from Montrose, Colorado. Passed a lot of chiropractors who perhaps didn't have a piece of equipment like this, right? And he found out about Dr. McCain through a positive ad, right? This patient couldn't stand for more than 10 minutes, and he was immediately placed in the exam room. They put ice on him, got him to, to relax, and they took some x-rays. The x-rays were taken, and they revealed moderate disc space narrowing with some encroachment at L5-S1. The x-rays were not that significant. I won't bother taking your time to show those to you. He was then sent for an MRI scan in July of 2006. He was sent to a center in Denver where I read images. It's an upright phonar scanner in Denver, similar to the one in Seattle. And these are his images. Now, you know, I think my son Philip could see that. What do you think, huh? My son Philip's a musician, plays the drums, right? I think Philip could see that disc herniation. What do you think? It's bigger than the last one, isn't it? It's huge. And his symptoms fit it too, boy. He had left-sided sciatica. Guy could hardly stand. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And he came from such a long distance that he had to stay overnight in a hotel because he's not driving six hours back, right? So he was staying in a hotel for a period of time, that first week worth of, worth of treatment. He began the DRX-9000 decompression treatments. He received 27 treatments over a period of about two months. Within the first week, his pain scale reduced 25%. And he had failed non anti-inflammatories. He had failed epidural injections. This guy was on his way to getting a muffler. You with me? You go to Midas, you're going to get a muffler, right? His treatments lasted for approximately 1.5 months a follow-up MRI scan was taken. Because, you know, if you don't look for it, you won't find it, right? Because I'm inquisitive and I want to investigate this, and Dr. McCain has got an inquisitive mind, we did a follow-up MRI scan. This MRI scan was done November. Look at the difference. You say, well, where? There's a little residual disc material here, but look at the reduction. By the end of September, the patient reported no lower back pain with only occasional complaints of mild numbness in his left foot. Pre-treatment, post-treatment. Pre-treatment, post-treatment. It's dramatic. 